Here's a look at the wind gusts as we speak. So sustained winds close to 10 miles per hour, but some of those gusts exceeding 20. And there's a 21 mile per hour wind gust reported in Port Huron, 22 in Sandusky. So the farther northeast you go, especially working your way up towards the thumb, is where we will have breezier conditions. So here's a look at your mowing planner as we have dry conditions on tap for today. So if you didn't get a chance this weekend to get outside and mow the lawn, today would really be a nice day to do it because we're not going to be on the war, well, the hot side. We'll be, you know, relatively comfortable shall we say as we get into the upper 60s this afternoon. So we struggle to hit 70. We're about 10 degrees below average, but at least it's not going to be chilly this afternoon, but it will be seasonally cool. Northwesterly winds 10 to 15 miles per hour throughout the day. So infrared satellite showing that we have a little bit of cloud cover across the area. It's more of a, the upper clouds and so not really picking much up on satellite, but we'll push out that cloud cover throughout the day. So by the time we get to tonight, mostly clear, which allows those temperatures to slide 47 for the over night low for tonight. So another chilly night where you can open up the windows and let that cooler air come in. Giving the AC a break today. You probably can do it tomorrow, though. When the sun beams through those windows, I know that warms things up too. But 75 for the afternoon high. So improvement from today, but we're still going to be about four degrees below average, even though we're warmer, but light and variable winds tomorrow. So here's your outdoor picnic forecast for tomorrow, because I know a lot of classes like to do that the last week of school. So here's a look at that forecast. It will be mostly clear into the afternoon. 75 will be the forecasted high for tomorrow. So you'll see the shift in temperature specifically with the color contour over lower Michigan. Watch what happens. That system moving across the northwestern part of the U.S. shifts to the east, and we start to see the yellows and oranges building in, which indicates a warmer air mass as we get more so under the ridge of high pressure. So system continues across the northern part, uh, northern central part of the U.S. And our next rainmaker doesn't arrive until we head into Thursday. Conflicting timing with this, showing that we get a little moisture building in Thursday morning, but the better chance for probably more widespread shower and storm activity will be later in the day. So we'll fine tune the timing of that as we get closer to Thursday, but at least we know we'll have the moisture pumping in. And with the heat of the afternoon getting close to 90, that could fire off some storms. Now festivals will be kicking off over the next few weeks as we are in the summer months and we will officially be in summer in 10 days with the summer solstice. So the temperature outlook taking us to the solstice, we're trending above average all the way through June 20th and then I'll take you to June 24th and still above average. Really the Climate Prediction Center seasonal outlook has our temperatures above average with precip below average for this summer. Temperatures get close to 90 Thursday, but with that shower chance, we dip a little bit, but still staying in the 80s for your Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Great pool-like weather 